हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू टॉप 100 मोस्ट आस्क नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज गाइस दिस इज डे 16 टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस 75 मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर इंटरव्यू फॉर नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फाइव मोर मोर इंपोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन राइट टूडेज क्वेश्चन आर बेस्ड ऑन नेट नेटवर्क एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन गाइस नेटवर्क एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन इज एन इज एन टेक्नोलॉजी व्हिच इज used to make communication possible between private and public network between private and public ip addresses right so this is the technology which we are using nowadays right so so today we will cover five most important question that most time interviewer is asking to network engineer okay so guys without wasting our time let's begin first question for the day is what is net what is network address translation guys network address translation is just a process or you can say network address translation is an technology that is used to make communication possible between private and public addresses right by default communication between private and public is not possible right so net translate private addresses into public addresses before packet are routed to a public network right so before sending your packet to public network they will translate private into public and public into private right so net is a technology which you can run on firewall on router right on your border router on your edge router and see the next point it allow a network device such as a router to translate addresses between private and public network guys suppose i have one network like this this is my switch here is my user okay and if this i want to connect this 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 network to the internet so here is internet what i need i need a router and i will connect my own network to internet through this router right but i need to purchase one public ip address right and by default here i will run private ip address on the client here i will run public ip address so by default private to public is not possible communication between private to public is not possible right so i will configure nat on this router right after that it will translate your private into public whenever this router bill this router bill out your traffic on this link on the link where you are running public ip address right it will translate your private ip address to the public ip address whatever ip address will be there on this interface this interface right and when reply will come back to the router right what router will do this time router will translate public to private because now here is suppose facebook server and my client is requesting to facebook server right on this router nat will translate this private ip address into the public ip address which is running on this interface on the exit interface right and when reply will come what this router will do this router will translate public ip address the ip address which facebook server is using right into the private ip address that my machine is using okay so what is that guys net is an technology or net is an process which is used to make communication possible between private and public network that's it okay and you can see the last point net is used to communicate with internet okay so whenever you will connect your on network to the internet right you need to configure nat on your edge router now this is very important question i am telling again nat explain nat what is nat how nat works how many types of nat these are the most asked common question by interviewer to the network engineer okay now guys let me move on next question question number 77 question number 77 is what are the situation what are the situation where nat is required very good question where we need nat right so guys see first first situation where you need to configure nat is when you need to connect to the internet and our host don't have global unique ip addresses i am talking about public ip address here right if my client is not using unique public ip address right and i want to connect my internet my small network to the internet we need nat 
ओके फर्स्ट रिक्वायरमेंट सपोज दिस इज माई नेटवर्क हेयर इज वन यूजर आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ दिस मशीन इज टेन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन सपोज दिस इज माई राउटर एंड दिस इज आई एस पी हेयर आई एम रनिंग आई पी एड्रेस इज फिफ्टीन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट सपोज वन ओके दिस इज माई पब्लिक आई पी एड्रेस दिस इज माई प्राइवेट आई पी एड्रेस सो सो नाउ इन दिस सिचुएशन माई मशीन इज यूजिंग अ प्राइवेट आई पी एड्रेस देयर विल बी मिलियन ऑफ यूजर there will be million of machine using same ip address same private ip address right so isp will never identify this machine by this private ip address so here you need to configure nat to make communication possible and suppose here is facebook server right so if you have two option you can assign a public ip address to this machine as well right in that case you don't need to configure nat but guys is it, it is possible is it possible no net is used to actually net is used for the shortage of ipv4 right only for the shortage of ipv4 net allow multiple machine to use same private ip address right okay so in this situation you need to configure net when you when you your machine is using a private ip address and you want to connect your machine to the internet right you need to configure net on your edge router now second scenario when you want to hide internal ip addresses from the outside for security purpose see suppose in my network there is one server this is my just suppose server this is my http server i want to give access to outside user to this server right whatever information i will load on this server what i want that outside user can access this information you need to connect this server to internet via router isp right now i suppose the ip address of this http server is 192.168.10.1 and you want to hide this ip address from outside user otherwise attacker can attack on your http server if they will know your ip address so you want to hide your ip address or for any purpose if you want to hide the ip address of this machine right definitely for security purpose you will hide this ip address right from outside user in that case you will configure nat on your edge router nat will hide the private ip address for the outside user how outside user will access this server by the public ip address which you will configure on this interface only okay so this is second scenario second situation where we need to configure nat the last point is when a company is going to merge with another company that uses same addresses as space so if you have two private network right one is in other city and another is one in different city and you want to merge two side network you need to configure nat okay so this is where you need to configure nat where nat is required now let me move on next question and next question is what is the different different types of nat guys there are three types of nat first one is static nat second one is dynamic nat and third one is port pat 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 port address translation okay so this is very common question you don't need to focus much how many types of nat there are three types of nat static dynamic and pat right pat stand for port address translation okay yes your question can be what is static nat right many time interviewer is asking this question explain static nat what is the command to configure static nat and where we need to configure static nat right so interviewer can ask you this question so see guys what is a static net actually a static net allow for one to one mapping right you have to assign you have to configure one public ip address for one private ip address this is one to one map mapping right that is that it is trans that it translates one private ip address to one public ip address see a static nets allow for one to one mapping that it is that that is it translate one private ip address to one public ip address okay so suppose this is my network and suppose here are 50 user 
right and if i want to connect my network to internet i need to buy 15 public ip address right so i will configure net a static net on this in this router right so we need how many ip address ip address public ip address right in a static net how many user are there in your network okay so guys we, we will never use a static net in this situation when we need a static net when there will be one server right suppose this is my http server and i want to give access to outside user in this situation in this case you will configure a static net right here you will configure a static net for this server suppose the ip address of the server is 192 dot or suppose the ip address of the server is 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 right and ip address here i am running is 15 dot 36 dot 2 dot 1 okay this is my public ip address this is my private ip address right here i will configure a static net for this http server right so all outside user will access my http server by this ip address 115.56.2.1 right so guys command is very simple see ip net inside source static and this is private ip address of my server this is public ip address which i am running on my edge router after that actually after that you need to go to interface right so suppose my interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is connected with lan right so this is my inside interface so you need to tell to router ip net inside right here on this interface suppose this is my router right on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 my lan is connected right on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 on fast ethernet 0 slash 1 my public network is connected right so on this interface you need to run this command ip net inside because this is inside and on this interface you need to configure ip net run ip net outside command because this is connected to isp the interface which will which is connected to my private network that will be my inside interface and the interface which will connect which is connected to public network that is my outside interface okay now guys let me move on the last question of the day question number 78 and question number 78 is what is dynamic net so guys dynamic net it maps unregistered ip address to a registered ip address from from out of a pool of registered ip addresses so actually in dynamic net you will configure a pool of public ip address right you will configure a pool of public ip address so suppose in the pool i will configure ip address 15.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 15.1.1.5 15.1 to 15.5 right so there are five public ip address right and whenever a private user will act will access internet this is my isp here is my server suppose okay now in dynamic net when this user will suppose ip address of this user is 10.1 right this user will try to reach http server right traffic will reach on r1 what r1 will do r1 will translate 10.1 into 15.1 and at the same time 10.2 will also request right so r1 will translate 10.2 to 15.1.1.5 sorry 2 first to first user 15.1 to second user 15.2 so to third user 15.3 but guys how many user can access http at a time only five user right only five user means whatever pool you will create on router right on the basis of that pool router will translate source into private and pri source uh, sorry private into public and public into private okay so this is dynamic net suppose i want to configure dynamic net and registered ip address means public ip address that you will define in pool and 
private IP address will be unregistered IP address there will be no entry for private IP address right you need to create one access list only see command will be IP net pool pool name pool name is CCNA after that network 190.1.1.5 this is a starting point from here to here I am going to create one pool right and name of that pool is CCNA and net mask will be this one right so how many user can be there you can calculate right after that IP net inside source list 10 and pool is CCNA right and here you can see I have created one access list in the access list this network is permitted right to specify which unregistered addresses needed to translate right so which address which from which network you want to translate into public right that will defined by that will specify by access list 10 okay so after that in the same way interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is inside and this interface is outside okay so guys that's all for today this is five most important question for network engineer interview okay in next video we will discuss pat then we will discuss four more important question okay that's all for today if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel pm networking thank you thanks for watching bye bye